Hey guys, here we are, day one. I'm in a little bit better of spirits today. Not quite sure why. I think I just had to let go some of the control over things that I just can't control right now. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna talk to you about a few things that Biden has managed to muck up within 24 hours of his presidency, okay? So here's something that really sticks in my craw. And we all knew that this was going to happen, but basically the WHO announced on the day that Biden was inaugurated that they are now going to change the way that they determine a positive COVID case. So now instead of just having one positive test, you have to have two and a prognosis or a diagnosis from a physician. I mean, you guys, seriously, think about that. Think about how that number is just going to plummet. It's already going down. I've heard reports saying Biden's in office and it's already going down. So asinine. I mean, beyond. It's infuriating. And for those of us who are awake to what is happening, oh my gosh. But the, to those who are asleep, which is half the nation, God help them. So that's just incredibly frustrating. The other thing is, and this was actually comical in a horribly disgusting horror movie way, um, Biden apparently has an earpiece in yesterday and he and his wife are walking past the Marines and clearly somebody was in his ear telling him to salute to the Marines and instead he does this. How bad do you have to be to where you can't even hear somebody saying something into your ear that you should naturally be doing if you're the leader of this country anyway, saluting to our servicemen and women. Someone's telling him to do it and instead of doing it, he says, well, you heard, salute the Marines. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, moving on. So I will say I have a heart on for Ted Cruz. I wasn't sure how I felt about him until recently. I don't know how you feel, but I feel that he has proven himself to be a true patriot. And today he was talking to this little Peabody. Oh my gosh, I had to write his last name down because the way it's pronounced is different than the way it's spelt. And it has the, the word butt in it. And I'm a little immature at times. So anyways, his, um, it is <laughs> Pete Buttigieg. Anyways, he's talking to Pete and he basically calls him out and he's saying they're talking about the Keystone Pipeline being canceled on day one of Biden's presidency and Cruz is talking about what a huge hit this is to the American people, to the jobs market, to the middle class and Buttigieg basically says they'll find new jobs or they need to find new jobs. He says it without saying it, but what's happening is, so the Keystone Project has been canceled, right? So what that does is that's eliminating, so there's 1,200 current union jobs now that are gone. On top of that, there were projections that this project was going to employ 11,000 individuals, 8,000 of those were union workers. So, and that was going to be by the end of 2021. So huge, huge hit. And if one of you listening to me right now are impacted by this, I am so sorry that I'm reporting on it. You're feeling it. You're feeling the repercussions of it. And it makes me sick. And I'm sorry that you're dealing with, with this, you know, where your life is a, you're, it's like you're a pawn, right? Because these assholes want to make these moves to appease with this Green New Deal. I'll stop there. Very sad. Ted Cruz, though, A plus in my book right now. Moving on. So 
Trump's 1776 Project. Now, for those of you who didn't know or who don't know the backstory on why he put that in place in September of 2020, that was after the New York Times posted the 1619 Project, which basically attempted to reframe history to match the Black Lives Matter movement, to match that, that tone. And really what the 1776 Project was, was a dedication to our children to teach them accurate history. Accurate. And no, day one, so Biden and his goons are so afraid of our children knowing true American history that that was on day one what he needed to nix. And to my bit from yesterday where I talk about my daughter's leftist loony teacher, this is what's happening. And by that 1776 project, it is breeding more and more and more extremist teachers. Very disheartening. Very disheartening.